In today's video, we are going to explore the Gutenna Accordion plugin and we'll begin by installing it. So let's hover over plugins and click on add new. And in the search box, I'll just type in Gutenna and we'll install and activate Gutenna Accordion. And once it's done, we'll test it out by creating a new post. So I'll click on new at the top. We'll call it test. And then at the bottom, we'll add a new block by clicking on this plus. Let's add an accordion. Now here we can choose from two different styles. Let's choose style number two. So we can see it here immediately. Now let's open up the list view so we can see the full structure of the accordion. And we can see that this accordion block has three different sections. If we take a look on the right hand side, we'll see the accordion blocks settings. The first option is layout, and this allows nested blocks to take up the maximum width of their parent. Now let's move to panel settings, and the first option here is open single panel at a time. And I'll demonstrate this by quickly opening a preview. So if we scroll down to the accordion, we'll see that we can only open one panel at a time. Now if we go back to the editor and we turn this option off, and we generate a new preview, we'll now see that we can open multiple panels at once. Alright, now let's go back to our editor. And the next option will let you select which panel is open by default. So the one you choose will be open by default when the page loads. We can also adjust the space between panels by moving this slider. And we can adjust the margin below the title with this one. We also have panel styles and that lets you adjust the thickness of the border. So for example, here is 10 pixels. We can also add some border radius if we have a border. So right now it's round like a pill or you can have it less rounded like this. 10 pixels. We can also adjust padding. So just play around with the values to see what works for you. You also have the option to unlink values for padding and border radius if you want to make changes to specific sides separately. And then we have background color which lets you change the color inside of the panels. So you can use this color picker to select virtually any color. But if you want you can also use the presets shown below. Under color settings we can change the title color as well as the content color. Again you can either choose a custom color or a preset. And by the way, you can also customize the style for the active tab using the same types of options. And an active tab is a tab that is open. Now the next section is typography and these options are super intuitive. So we can select our font family from this list. And of course we have our regular options like size, appearance, line height, text transform and so on. Then we have trigger icon settings. And right now it's set to up down by default, but we also have options for plus or minus or none. And these are the icons that are shown on the panels. Under dimensions, we have options to adjust padding. By moving this slider, the values can also be unlinked. And we also have margin options. And with margin, we also have a slider that we can use to make the adjustment. So these two options make adjustments to the entire accordion block. And the final option lets you add a border and adjust its radius. Now, if we take a look at the panel block, we'll see that it has no special settings. Now we can go ahead and expand the panel block and inside we have a title block and if we click on it we'll see that it's basically an h6 and on the right we can see the block settings for this heading and right under this heading we have a content block which consists of a paragraph and again we have our gutenna kits block settings for this one and if you want to add multiple panels all you would need to do is click on one of them click on the three dots in the corner and click on duplicate it's that simple so once you are done making all of your changes you can go ahead and click on publish and now you know how to use Gutenna's accordion block. Thanks for watching and see you next time.